Hello friends, my name is Nadeem and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we will see what is a spacer bar in RCC beam and then we will see cutting length calculation of the spacer bar and its uses. Before that, if you like the videos I make, please like and comment and do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video notification. So come on now, let's get started. What is a spacer bar or pin bar in a beam? A piece of a steel bar provided in between two layers of the main reinforcement in the beam is called a spacer bar. They are inserted perpendicularly or in a tapered position in between two layers. Now let us see why the spacer bars are provided in the beam reinforcement. As the name suggests, spacer bars are provided to maintain a uniform gap between two reinforcement layers. Usually the maximum size of coarse aggregate used in the concrete is 20 mm. The spacer bar maintains a gap between the bars for the easy flow of concrete aggregate, which otherwise would have created a void in between the bars. Due to the spacer bars, the concrete gets filled in between the bar layer to provide adequate bond strength as required by the beam. Now let us see what should be the spacing and diameter of the spacer bars. Always the diameter of the spacer bars should be above the maximum size of the aggregate used in concrete. Suppose if the aggregate size is 20 mm, then the diameter of the spacer bar should be 25 mm or 32 mm. The spacer bar should be placed at a center to center distance of 1000 mm from each other. How to calculate the cutting length of the spacer bar? Let us calculate the cutting length of the spacer bar for the below given section. First, let's see the given data for the beam. Beam width is equal to 450 mm and beam depth is equal to 600 mm. Clear cover is 25 mm, hence we can write the cutting length of the spacer bar is equal to beam width minus 2 times clear cover that is cover on the left and the right face of the beam plus 10 mm to rest the bars adequately, which is equal to 450 mm minus 2 times 25 mm that is clear cover plus 10 mm. This gives us 410 mm. Similarly, we can find spacer bar length for any beam width. I hope you found this video useful. If you like the videos I make, please like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.